One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight should be. Oops. Trying to go too quickly and misclicking. That should be sorted. And do we need a bin in the container? Bin in the container as well. Okay. Bin in the container. Okay. Two, six. Okay, I did eight. Now we can do the floors. So floor is in materials. White. Do a metal floor in the kitchen for speed. That's outdoor. This is indoor. That's something we need to do in our our prison as well. Our Alpha 36, which is now version 1 prison. Um, now I'll update the name. The only thing we haven't got is the choice of the warden. So, um, guess I could edit it in the save file. I'll have a look. Maybe I'll do another video on editing the save file to change your warden. Um, I'll have a look into that. Because it's probably, when you load it, it's probably automatically going to change the the setting on the warden. So I'll see. Um, maybe we can change our warden. You can get any benefits you have along the way. But I think they're almost done, so... Um, Okay. Yep. Okay, and it's going to call us again. You would not believe what I've just been told. Our guys were dumping some of the old foodstuffs. They discovered packs of narcotics and bottles of alcohol hidden in the crates. We'd suspected the Palermo family of smuggling into the facility for some time now, but we'd never been able to determine how. Some days it doesn't rain it pours another cutscene Don Victor Palermo boss of one of the East Coast most feared mob families the Palermos eluded the FBI for decades Anthony Palermo Anthony Palermo the Don's eldest son and natural heir ran the day-to-day -day operations Nico Tamoretti wasn't a made man, but he was welcomed into the family business when he married the Don's only daughter, Vitalia. And Sonny Palermo, the Don's second son, the runt of the litter. Temper like a pit bull and only half smart. I'm doing all the voices for them, but it's probably the CEO talking. Their entire... Their, their empire ran a narcotics trade from Maine, Florida. That was until Anthony got caught in a flagrant delict. What? <laughs> ah, that was him. Nice. Shot dead by a jealous husband. Unfortunately for the family, police at the scene found 12 kilos of uncut cocaine on Anthony's sports bag. And the evidence led straight to the top. See, it's all tied in together, isn't it? All tied in together. And I have a feeling it's all going to go back to Kelvin Heller. Overnight, everything the Palermo family had built up crumbled to the ground. The FBI had everything they needed to ensure they'd all rot in jail. Which leaves Vitalia, the Don's daughter, the only living member of the family who isn't behind bars. We don't know much about her other than she was always kept outside the family business but sub somebody on the outside must have been sending those drugs in what 
What's Marsh doing there? We could have had quite a serious narcotics problem on our hands here, but we can't deal with that yet. We've got our kitchen and canteen up and running. Our chefs will work on preparing food for everyone, which should cool things down. I'm concerned that the fire was clearly deliberate, and we don't want a repeat of that. Install the sprinkler system over the new kitchen and canteen and connect them to the water mains. All prisoners have needs. Those needs directly impact on how your prisoners behave. Prisoners behave. Right now everyone is starving hungry and that's what all the shouting has been about. Food is one of their highest priority needs and you ignore it at your peril. A prison is just a few failed meals away from a wall to wall riot. You can monitor the needs of all your prisoners from the needs report, which you can normally access through the reports icon in the bottom right. The report shows the combined needs of all your prisoners. Red means a lot of prisoners are angry about this particular uh, need not being met. Recreation and food. As you'd expect, food is red for virtually everyone, but these prisoners are also very bored, and the prison is a pretty shabby state which is reflected in their environment and clothing needs. It's your decision as the resident prison architect which needs will try to attend first. You could install televisions in their cells to keep them occupied and hire some janitors to clean the place up. Or you can just ignore your prisoners needs altogether and rely on force to keep your prison under control. I'll leave it up to you. Alright, so we need Electricity, Oy. and we need the sprinklers. Um, is this sprinklers? No, objects sprinkler. I think two will do for there. Okay, and we'll see where the pipes come. I can obviously do something like that. See where they build that. So recreation yards. They've got benches. No, they don't have benches. Objects. Wait, it's bench. Okay. Let's give them some TVs, eh? Put some TVs out here. These guys are quite quiet. We got the money to spend. I know it's the wrong way around. I'm just doing it the quickest way possible. No on that. Those are like nice cells. I know what beds those are. Those are luxury beds. Do I have a common room somewhere? It's another yard. Wait's bench. Maybe we could put some TVs in the canteen. So, food is getting met. Okay. Well, I did that exactly there, look. That's good. Well, then these two, easy done. Okay, sorted. Food is getting done. They're all cheering up. And I'm gonna put three guards in here. 
So they're coming in there and they're protesting instead of eating. Smart guys. Those smart prisoners. They're just jumping around. Jump, jump, jump around. Jump around. Okay, he's calming down now because he at. Probably some of them are the ones that need recreation. Because they can start flapping around on TVs when they're put in. But as soon as that's fitted, it takes a while to fit. That they're, they're, they're coming over, they're having a look, they're like, what's that? That's a TV! It's a TV! It's a TV! I haven't seen TV for like 15 years! Someone's gonna go on the TV. No. No, he's not. For recreation, look, there's a TV right there. You can jump on it, look. Hey! And look, that's going down. That's almost gone. They can get that recreation need going. That's being sorted. Uh, I'm gonna speed things up. What's it now? Lock up. Look. Recreation has been sorted a bit. Some TVs are there. A few people still need TVs in their cells. But as they said, um, the TV is a very powerful tool in a prison. Okay. We've had an incident in the showers. There's a body. Actually, there's two bodies. Luckily for us, we've got cameras in there. When you get a moment, click on the Polaroid in the showers and we'll take a look at what happened. That's a superior bed. Okay, so I guess we can use them now. Maybe get more comfort. Um, where's the shower? There it is. Oh, here it comes. These are really good CCTV cameras, aren't they? Alone, perfect. You took your time. Cut the bullshit. I never know what to do. That... I, n I never did know what that whore sister of mine saw in you. This is her idea. Off the old man. Is that what you think? You fat... Hmm. I didn't mean <laughs> for him to get hurt. I love him like he's my own father. I'm sick of seeing this family brought down by your stupidity. The fire was meant for you. Then consider this repaying your favor. Who's this coming in? Don't come the same. We both know you plan to take me out one day. Someone's coming with that. Yeah, you always were a smart guy, Nico. Look where I got you. Don't worry. You won't feel a thing. I told you, watch your back. Have you met Frankie before? He's got a unique talent with a piano wire. Honestly, by the time it's finished, they'll think it was a suicide.
He didn't die, did he? I thought you saw them in the prison cells. Look, seven up. Fantastic. I mean, yeah. Fantastic. Looks like the Palomo family is running out of members. You can't bet the Palomo. You can bet the Palomos were selling those narcotics on to every con here. The guards are telling me they've seen a lot of prisoners showing signs of withdrawal since the fire. I want you to search every prisoner and every cell. I bet we find Palomo drugs all over the prison. So we want. Those had been those. Um. Which ones don't have TVs? The TVs where we can't, eh? I guess TVs do improve the environmental ...ness of the prison, if it can be called that. As in these cells can't really do much. So it gives them, it's like a double boost really. Gives them the recreational, gives them a point more in their room. Okay, those are all TVs, and they got windows. Okay. Okay, can we search the cell block? Okay, we do it that way. Search the cell block. 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 These aren't de designated as cells. Okay, they're finding drugs. Um, I have no idea how long this this is going on. I don't know if I can save it halfway through. Um, yeah, I can save the campaign. All right, so I'm going to leave it here. I might have to cut this in the middle. Um, but then I'll continue it next time as well. So, thank you very much for watching. Sorry about the previous episode. The start was a bit slow because of my um, uploading, rendering, and recording schedule all being intertwined to get these uh, version 1 videos out as soon as possible. So, um, hopefully this is a lot better. Uh, there was a few stops along the way because of doors and phone calls. But, yeah. Um, hope you're enjoying it. I'm certainly enjoying this it gives the game a whole new fresh fresh light um, don't let this spoil anything for you I mean if you're new to the game it's um, very important to do this so it teaches you where everything is and 
how to play the game, um, apart from watching our videos, obviously. And by our, I mean all of the YouTubers. Um, and uh, I was going to say something else. And yeah, um, if you're not new, I mean, it's up to you to try it or to watch it. I mean, I will be continuing the uh, the main prison and then probably doing new pri new prison after that. Um, we'll just keep on expanding our prison, but we're up to about 400 inmates now. So yeah. Anyway, um, thank you. I've been Stranky. This has been the one and only Prison Architect. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Um, hit that like, hit that subscribe. The response for these has been so far phenomenal. Um, so, um, yeah, thank you very much, and uh, bye bye.